Welcome to tonight's episode of Music Word. Last we left off. The remainder of the Fate Chosen worked their way through the estate. You guys were destroying paintings, helping survivors, and fighting off the mysterious painted man. Finally destroying him when you guys set a piece of artwork up in flames that you suspected his soul was tied to. You were directed to this piece of artwork when Drea summoned Lady Cressida and took her aside. After a brief conversation with her, Drea was shown the way and you guys descended through the servants quarters into the dungeon and destroyed the mysterious ghostly figure. Jace, you find you found a way into the estate. <clears throat> While Father Bell and Savannah tried to subdue the guards. Sylvanas not wanting to leave Jace on his own you teleported or switched places with your Echo Knight and followed him through the estate trying to keep him safe while the youngster just kept trying to avoid you eventually Jace you spent some time some brief time with Prince Tommen before knocking him out claiming that the ghost had got to him before his brother found him and escorted him out. Oh, Savannah's so eventually caught up to you and after a bit of back and forth he grabbed you, you ran, he chased, he grabbed mm-hmm. I think you guys are still currently chasing each other. I think what happened was uh, Oh you tripped him, him that's and right. Then the ghost Attacked you, yeah, that's right. Father Bell, unable to get into the estate, you spotted a dark green glow coming from the side of the cliffs underneath the bridge and flew over to investigate further. While the rest of the team is still inside the estate. Was there anything else anyone would like to add? Uh, as did you? As with the painting and stuff. Is that yeah. Much? Well, so you can mention. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yep. That's the Duchess Evine. Yes. I'm gonna be Brad as a witch, guys. And somehow oh, Jace got into the building when no one else could. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Emily's a tire, but they're Any new so. What are you, Jess? And he knew about the uh, the, yeah. the ghost without Ooh. seeing it, unless that was a slip. I don't think it was. Hmm? He is the ghost. He is the ghost. Oh, powerful. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Sorry, mate. I'm gonna have to break my job just kill you. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Alright, anything else? Ready? Yes. Let us get. Oh, and sorry, Father Bell saw a dude. Yeah. And if I'm dead around him, right? Mm. Correct. Was that the was that the presence I was uh, detecting downstairs with the good and evil? No. Um those talks about her had are we retconning the We are, Bell's yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Father Bell did not burn a guard to a Christmas. <laughs> One of the possessed guards. Like not not a <laughs> yes we are. I like that better things. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, sorry. Quick refresher. How does that work? So you just roll behind the screen, and then we. So again, try not to call out for any checks. Yeah. Um, role play and stuff like that, and then if um, if you guys are like you know trying to do an insight check by role playing, like you know, does this guy look suspicious? Does he look nervous? Mm-hmm. I'll ask you to do 
an insight check and I'll either say I'll roll it or you roll it um, and you just tell me your your bonus and I'll roll it for you okay. and then I'll um, based off the roll that I get I'll tell you okay. so that's NPCs and playable characters correct cool. alright so Father Bellator yes You hover about 120 feet from the bottom of the chasm and looking through the opening of this cave you see one of the most darkest hated acts of most of the worshippers of Sigma. The dead brought back in a mockery of life as they dance and chant around a dark hooded figure who's chanting along over a roaring flame which flicks green and in the middle of it you can see the estate. The cave is empty and not very deep. There's only one entry in and out. What would you like to do? Can I um can I tell how many undead there are? You can see four dancing around him. Sorry, he's in a cave? Is that in the basement? No, no he's outside, outside the across bridge. the bridge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he's going to land yelling, Spawn of chaos, return to the darkness of whence you came. And as he lands, he's going to um, hit the ground hard and a, a yellowish light's going to burst out from him. And I am going to cast Destroy Undead. Oh! oh! Big boy spells wow. out. So it's my channel divinity. Um, uh, this is gonna be good. So should be like with your feet and stuff. As an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, um, as censoring on, on the censoring the undead. Each undead that can see or hear you within thirty feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails a save the saving throw, it it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turned creature must spend its turn trying to move away from you, uh, from as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move into a space thirty feet from. It also can't take reactions for its action. Um, it can use only the dash action to try and escape from the effect that prevents it from moving. <laughs> turn on dead as well. Uh, yeah, so it's turn on dead, but with the other. There's nowhere to move. Uh, if there's nowhere to move, the creature can use a dodge action. Um, so as part of that, because of my level, it also casts um, destroy undead. So starting at fifth level, when an undead fails its saving throw against you, your turn on dead feature, the creature is instantly destroyed. Wow. If, if, it is, well, uh, if its challenge rating is below a certain threshold, a shaman might not destroy on the table. Hmm. Wow. Ooh. What was the area effect on that? <coughs> what's, the, uh, what's the DC? DC is... It's your spell DC? It would be your spell. Spell save DC. 
Look at this stallion struggling. He's like, Spurs? What, what's a spell? The golden yellow light bursts from you, flooding the entire cave. And as the light hits these undead creatures, they fly from their from their positions, hitting the wall at the back of the cave, crumbling back into the lifeless form they were. The flames of the fire roar as this energy pulses out from you. As the necromancer shields his face and comes back to you. Sorry, and then uh, as that happens, yep. he's going to follow his hand off his chain and then he's going to pull from the top of it as if he's pulling out his hammer and he's going to come down as a bonus action and I'm going to cast um, Spiritual Weapon hmm. and wow. a yellow glowing hammer comes up above his head and uh, uh, attacks him. That's good. Okay. Sure, I don't want to just rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier. <laughs> Damn, uh, is it a <laughs> So that's 18. 18 plus. Hits. As the necromancer lifts his hand from his face, shielding him from your blast, before he can even react, your hammer, holy and gigantus, appears above him and slams down. And in an instant, he's crushed on the floor, hands and legs sprawled out underneath your hammer. His back broken, his neck snapped, dead on the Jeez. ground. How many? How many undead was that? Four. Four. And they all destroyed. Wow. You stand in the cave. <laughs> the the green light, the green ill light, no longer filling this space, but a golden light of hope fills the space around you. You can still hear a few distant screams in the estate. But it seems like things are now under control. So I'm just gonna uh, walk up to him, pull out my book, and I'm gonna walk towards him, praying, trying to fill this unholy place with light. Mm. Okay, nice, I like it. Jace, you're currently on your back with Sylvanas looming over you as he slowly makes his way over to you. Sick up my head. Uh, take it. <laughs> Alright mate, look. We could just keep doing this. You could keep chasing my tail and keep on grabbing it. But here's the thing. Alright. You feel responsible for my life, right? Is that is that what this is? thinks that I hit him in the back of the head. So, if we just walked on out... And why does he think that, Jess? Um, well, the thing is, I was possessed, and I hit him in the back of the head. It was... it was crazy. Anyway, besides the point, he thinks I hit him in the back of the head, and if we leave now, I'm probably just... they're probably just gonna hunt me down. So, I think it's best if we work together to resolve this before oh, we leave. now you want to work together. But at the door, you were just... Spewing, going crazy. Was it going crazy? You were going what crazy. I was going crazy. <laughs> Listen, I would. Yeah, you tell me your mastermind plan, Silver. <coughs> What's the plan? I need to get you home, back to your parents. All right, oh, let's play this out. Nasty. We're gonna walk on That's home. Good. I'm gonna go to sleep, and then 
good old Prince Tommen's gonna be there in the night and slit your throat. And then I'm dead anyway. I think he's got a pretty good idea. I mean, I was the only one in his room. But I have a solution if you just work with me here. Also, I'm on a bit of a time crunch, otherwise, what I say is not going to make sense. <laughs> The de the the lightning demon? The lightning demon. Yeah. There's a lightning demon here now. Yeah, the one that you literally shocked you with his chaos magic. Okay, Jace. Grab him by his ear again. No, what the f what the fuck are you doing? He literally so shocked you. I know, but you are no lightning demon. What are you on about? He used magic. How rare is like magic in general? It's um, it's pretty rare. Um, I would say probably only five to ten percent of the population would be tuned to the winds of magic. However, in your travels, you would have seen plenty of magic users. What would I know? Like a kid seeing magic like this, would that be like what the heck? Yeah, it would be a big shock. Yeah. He's literally touching chaos. Especially in a place like this where they're very superstitious. You have much to learn. That was a spellcaster. I don't give a fuck what he was. He is no demon. Look, 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 look. He's a demon. I told Tommen that I was here to protect him, alright? So. Oh, okay. Now I got this situation straight. Your brilliant plan was to scream out his name, find him, whack him upon the head before telling him, I'm here to protect you. No, I told him I was going to protect him before I whacked ah, him in the head. Ah, right, it makes sense. Your Look, brilliant he's, not, plan. he's not entirely sure if I whacked him in the head or not. So. But before you. Can you let me finish? Oh. Fucking hell, Somebody's mate. Have you heard of manners? Oh my god. Alright. Here's the plan. Alright. Alright. I would Absolutely. love to hear this. Film. You're wasting my fucking time. <laughs> I'm walking off. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get dragged back. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to. We're facing each other, right? And I can see he's obviously gonna try and grab me if I run. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna run towards him and then try and like drop kick him and propel myself away from him. And I'm gonna try to use that momentum. Well, you you don't know what he's doing, so what are you gonna do? Well, if if I like, I've got him at the moment, right? Like we, we haven't rolled for it, so I'm gonna say you just you just you're just facing each other. At the okay. Moment. Well, if I see him, because I have a like a pretty good inkling, right? He's gonna squirm away again. So if he does that, I'm just gonna like grab him. But I'm running straight towards you. I'm not squirming away. Make an attack against his AC. Is it... Can it be like a dex attack since I'm like running and jumping at him? Or yeah, make make a... um, Make an acrobatics check against his um, AC. Um, oh my god, natural one. Mm. So, eight, I think. You take a few quick steps towards him <laughs> and as you go to launch yourself, your foot gets stuck in one of the floorboards and you run face first into his chest. It's like hitting a solid wall as Sylvanas just wraps his hand around you and boosts you up onto his shoulder. Why let me go, you fucking... Oh my god. That's enough for one day, kid. You're literally killing me right now. You're literally killing me. You're sentencing me to my death. If you stay here, you will surely... Why would I you're stay with you when you're being so fucking useless? You're not being helpful whatsoever. You're literally going to take me home so that they can kill me. Instead of working with me to come up with a plan. Fucking let me go! I'm going to kick him. Oh, I can knee him or squirm or do whatever I can. Meanwhile, 
you guys can hear this commotion coming upstairs as the flames crackle and spit in the small chamber that you guys are in. Tommen has left the room, gone back upstairs into the servants' quarters and gone back to the ballroom. What? Andrea, where you are in the servants' quarters, you can just see him pull out a chair, sit down and just put his hands to his head, just still gripping the dagger hard, not realising that he's got it as he just cups his head. Cups or cups? Cups. What are you three doing? So last session, Bjorn got tossed. So Dara's going to check on Bjorn. Took you long enough. You feeling alright? Yeah, yeah. The worst part is in this. He's just staring at the floor and you can see his hands slightly shaking on his head. You did well to protect your people. I did not. We know of one dead. I heard at least five other screams. How many of my subjects perished tonight? under the protection of the Valendil house. Well, we're not gonna find him sitting here. Where are those fucking guards? He stands up and looks at you. I'll search the bottom floor if you get upstairs then. He nods to you. Are we there or what's If you'd like to Maybe make there. your way up. He nods to you and as you guys are coming up, he points to you. Yeah. Search the third floor. Brother, if you accompany me. Of course. So he doesn't think I'm a witch? Because I'll check my bedroom. Because <laughs> you. Well, I'll check my bedroom. But he wasn't no, in the room the with us, right? Other check. No, I've already Oh, checked. you did, yeah. But he was technically still in the service quarter. Right? It, it seems okay. like he has not noticed. The The room itself was dark and the the chaos and the all focus was on this ghostly hooded figure. Yeah. That it seems that he has no recollection of cool. seeing you. Cool, 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 cool. He picks up his candle again from the table and starts making his way room by room. Heads up, we've got the uh, Duchess in the study. It's pretty hysterical. Her husband had uh, his eyes cut out quite recently. He's at the door and just pulls it closed again before he fully opens it. Father's gonna have our skin for this. Well, my skin for this. It's not your fault. And yet it is. These people are here under Valendil protection. Do you know how bad this looks on our reputation? If we cannot protect a few nobles in an estate, how are we to look after the entire state? We'll have the families properly compensated. We'll pay for their funerals, give them anything they need. Brother, they lost their family members. What do you think money's going to do? It'll show that we care in some way at least. I forget how long the way you've been. Money's not going to solve this. People already 
certain houses already question our rule. This is but another log in the fire, proving that we are not worthy. see that he's getting a little bit upset and a little bit snappy at you and he takes a deep breath pats you on the shoulder you first I'm not good with blood as you guys begin making your way upstairs you see a tall figure with a struggling Tabaski on his shoulder, kicking, shouting, cussing as he comes down the stairs. And you guys are now awkwardly face to face, not able to get past each other. Oh, okay. uh, we'll take the left, you'll take the right. <laughs> Sounds good to me. He's kidnapping me! He's, he's taking me away. Please, oh. please. We recognise Jess, yeah? From... We were at yeah, we, we do. Yeah, yeah you guys were. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's not many di- Tabaskis, no. Yeah. Wait, hang on. We did. You did give me directions to find him. Yeah, but I don't know who you are. No, you don't know who I am. Yeah. So um. Oh yeah. Well, what is the situation here exactly? He's taking me against my will. Pro- probably shouldn't. Shouldn't do that. I I know. The I boy. Tell. It's just a little bit frightening of the night events. He so doesn't often. seem frightened. Sure. I just want to get out. Are you, are you taking him out? <laughs> I am taking him back to his parents. Cool, yeah, that's good enough. No, what the fuck? Help me! What the hell? <laughs> Where he could, he's gonna bash me! On the left. He's, he's... I don't know this man. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> fuck I mean, we should get involved, right? I mean, his parents did make our clothes for free. At least we we promised to bring him home safe. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Wait, can are these guys saying this? <laughs> yeah. Can I hear it? Like, uh, all right, we'll stop at the steps. I just take it down the road. <laughs> what does this mean? Um, yeah, but you know, there's probably worse things here. Taking him back to his parents, you know, <laughs> probably not the worst <laughs> that could happen. And it's just like screaming. Do you know what? You know, I, I'm good friends with their parents, so I can take them back. Good sir. God. I don't Are you know. a god? No. I don't know you. Are you a lord? He's a kidnapper. <laughs> yeah, well, well... I don't know you, so... You can't expect me to take your word for it. But this kid, I know his parents. They made this outfit. Yes, I wear it well. This is my sister, who also is wearing a, what's your surname again? Chaveo. Chaveo special. I appreciate it. I really do. Cool. Alright, let him down and... Uh, but I think you it. have more things to do than... That is true. I yes, say, looking at Brian. And we could use all hands on deck. Yeah. He said he's going to chop off my legs. <laughs> Oh, and then hit me with him. He's crazy, man. <laughs> Don't sound pretty crazy. Who's that? So, what's the situation there? Can you put the kid down? He can walk. No. You require my help. There's lots we of require yours. To search. What are you doing here again? We're here to deliver out. Are you making your way back? Yes. Are you making your way back? I don't know what he's talking about. He's high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. <sighs> Alright, how about this? You put the kid down. And take a few feet. A few steps back. Look 
continue our search of the area, then we'll take a back up. And you can linger upon the side a few steps ahead, just in case you try and... Do we know that the doors are locked? Oh yeah, we checked them, didn't we? As you say that, you hear the doors at the bottom in the ballroom. <laughs> Open up by the bell door. You've entered back through the courtyard to a horrible scene. Guards, some of them which you knew by name, familiar faces, have either slit their own throats, jumped in the campfire as their bodies smoke and crackle, or impaled themselves on their own halberds. Spread themselves out at the courtyard so whoever enters or exits can see what's being done. And all eyes have been slashed. From my knowledge, do I know what would cause something like this? You know it was the ghosts yep. that instead of unpossessing their bodies, they decided to kill them first. You can see signs of torture on their bodies, cuts to their faces where the the possessed would have felt all the pain until they were finally dispatched and the ghosts left their body. I'm going to spare a moment for a prayer for them. Um, and then uh, through my divine presence, I'm going to try and sense if, you know, or I'm, I'm just going to look around and see if there's any that are still alive. All are killed. All are dead, sorry. And the most recent one was the last one that jumped into the fire. But he too, unfortunately, has perished the most horrible death. His body, his face disfigured. You give a moment. A prayer to those that gave their lives. So, when I, through my prayer, I want to specifically... As you do, you feel a sight breeze come across the courtyard as if to let you know that their souls have not gone, that their souls have moved on to the Garden of Moor, who you know is the, the God of Death, where they'll forever garden walk about his beautiful garden. Moor? Yeah. M-W-O-O-I-E. Before pressing on, you open the large doors, finally able to access the estate again. To see a scene of carnage in front of you, chairs, tables upturned, paintings still burning, and a squabble happening on the stairs. No sign of coming in his brother. Deals. After a couple of seconds, Tommen appears from behind the stairs. Fire the bell. <sighs> thank the light. Yes, thank the light. Where were you? <laughs> there was some business that needed business. business. Do you have any idea what's happened here? No, of course not. Can I, looking over him, can I see if he's hurt in any way? Make an inside check. Uh, yeah, you, you roll an inside check. Uh, 6 plus 7, I think it is. So 13. 13. He doesn't seem to be hurt, but he's clearly shaken. Yeah. And that form of adrenaline and fear he's taking out in anger. So I can get to 
as you approach him, he throws down his candles. And three nobles so far we found. Dead. Don't put a hand on his shoulder. Calm yourself, young one. There is nothing we can do about the past. Only look forward to what is to come. He scoffs at you for a second. And just shakes his head, brushes your arm off. You're gonna sort of... And... Grab his face and sort of turn him just in space. I'm fine! Where is your brother? Behind me, he's checking the rooms. And as you've just finished checking the last rooms. And you can hear this commotion happening and that commotion. <laughs> as your brother pulls out a seat and sits himself down, grabs the nearest cobbler off the ground, dusts it off, and pours himself a cup and downs it in one gulp before pouring himself another. Oh, no. Did you get hurt? Yeah, I got like minus eight. Max HP. He he seems he seems a little bit a little bit less rejuvenated, but other than that, well well and healthy. The darkness is thick in the air tonight. May I suggest, my lords, we gather who can still stand and make our way away from this place. It is not safe to Your brother says nothing. I think that'd be the best. But we can't leave until everyone's okay. <coughs> what is that squabbling? He yells out to you. To, to us? Yes. Is that Tom? There's a guy here. He's not a guard. He's not a soldier. He's not a lord. And he's carrying an kid on his shoulder. Jace. The boy's name is Jace. Right. He yes. is the Tabaski's kid. Yeah. That's the one. That is the one. I'm going to say, as I sort of I've pulled out some bandages, and I'm just bandaging wherever Dario got um, with it. Get out of Jace. So uh, I've told him to put the, the kid down. He's not listening. Oh. And, and, and I'm a lord. So, do, do we just kill him? Bring him here. <laughs> Bring. You have you have your lord, your prince. Right. One moment. Now. <laughs> I li don't listen to you. Fucking idiot. Real good. You hear a cup being placed down. A chair scraping across the floor four slow steady steps round the corner towards you and with a commanding presence that you haven't quite seen of Tommen yet a more vicious uglier side of him he stares you all down before his eyes land on you right <laughs> I'm over your shoulder <laughs> you like <laughs> By the bell. My lord. Got to slowly follow him behind him. Arrest both of these. She's got out of prison. The kid clearly has nothing to do Arrest either. both of them. You'll keep your mouth quiet when your prince speaks. You're not my prince, I'll remind you. You are in my land, I'll remind you. And just know, your insults and quips have not gone unnoticed tonight. And I've frankly had I'm enough. Sure it was us that saved your ass, Prince Tommen. So, uh, maybe forget a few quips here and there for your life. Do you know I can have you hanged? But you will not. I'm just like, <laughs> you, you can hear this, Daria. Uh, oh. I just want to look at Daria and be like, is this guy serious? <laughs> and like, I'm pretty amused at this point. I'm on, I'm gonna come up. The, the guards I'm shooting would have had some sort of shackles on them. Mm. Right? I'm gonna grab a couple of shackles on my way. 
and I'm gonna go to Sylvanas. Like, so I'm relatively close face to face. Go slow, father. He's clearly a fighter. I'm gonna lean in close. To, oh, I'm gonna look at him and just see if they're still that understanding. This will be for the best now. I mean, you can shackle me, but, oh my lord, I was willing to give my life for you, and back in that room, I was possessed. You get a backhand across the face oh, as Tommen wow. steps in. Is there time to react? There is not. Holy shit. Fuck. I'm gonna push He him. grabs your face and leans in close. He will speak. Only when spoken to. And pushes you back. You can move on to Sylvanas. I'm not sort of forced I'm gonna, to I'm gonna you, react and grab Tom. You gonna grab Tom? Fuck him, yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, I'll, I'll be oh. watching. And I'm right in front of you. And like, I, I'm... I, we no, not much trust you, man. So like... What, do, what are you doing? You're, you're grabbing Tom? You just, just wanna... Like, Like a shove, actually. Do you want to push him? Yeah. Do you want to push the prince? Are you sure? <laughs> the DM's <laughs> The DM gave me a warning. Oh. I just want you guys to understand the situation and the power that Tommen holds. And although you guys are all players at my table, this is yeah, real, real for friends. all of our, our characters that we're playing. Um. I mean, like... Savannah doesn't give a fuck about Ravora with you. Like, Does he give a fuck about his life? Yeah. Yeah. He's not that He's bad. not stupid, yeah. Alright. Uh, can I just say, if he does, like, obviously I'm sh shackling them, mm. but Father Bell is ready for, All like, right. a, a run or a then attack I'm, or something. Do you know, like, like, just stare him down. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, can I just say, Drea um, would have flipped off. She's going to actually go search the first floor. Okay. Like, while this is happening. No worries. Okay. <laughs> Taking us with you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, actually, I'd let him stay in the water bath just so we can cool down from, like, the fire. Okay. Like, yep, he's, um, he's currently admiring all the attention the serving maids are giving him. Good. <laughs> Anything, Jace? Jace just has a low growl that he's trying to hold back. I'll watch your best bit too. Okay. Yeah, he's oh, gonna love that shit. He's gonna look at you so much. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, he doesn't know magic. <laughs> he called you a, a demon thunder guy. Before. A lightning demon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, when he says that, Jace is just gonna put his hand off. Oh, fuck. To, uh, like, to speak to Tommen, or? He's just, just gonna. Put it up. Okay. Just, uh, just so he has something to say. To, to Tommen? Like. Just, just to, he's just gonna put his hand up, not to anyone particular. Okay. Just gonna put it up. Tommen <coughs> raises an eyebrow at you. Speak. And didn't you hear the thunder? He was unconscious. Actually, they were unconscious when it happened. He, he took your body. Thank you for reminding me. And how did I fall unconscious exactly? I was possessed with all but there's a demon here. I, I will be more than willing to explain, I swear. Take them away, Father. Take no, no, no. <laughs> Are you allowing yourself to be shackled? <laughs> Oh, 
Only you. Alright, shackling him, I'm gonna give him his history points. But I'm gonna shackle him behind his, behind his back, obviously. Wise move. But that still won't stop me if I wanted to. But I'll play along. I'm gonna gently put him down so he sits. Move them to the ballroom, Father. And keep watch. As if you agree, this is gonna, gonna say. Please, up. Uh, th there would be people that would have heard it too. I'm innocent. <laughs> There'll be time enough to judge that, Tabaski. As you guys are gently escorted to the centre of the ballroom and placed on seats or the floor, placed on seats, Tommen looks to you two. Round up the survivors and let's leave this cursed place behind us. He grabs your arm, Dario, before you leave, waiting for you to leave. Remember, brother, we share blood. That runs thicker than any friendships. Actually, we got pretty down by blood this time. <laughs> you would do well to remind your friends that they are in presence of two princes. But I do owe them my life. And I owe them nothing. Teach them respect before I'm forced to. <laughs> I love Keeping eye contact with you, searching your eyes for a moment, he gives you a nod and release his grip from you. Um, can I just say, like, what, like, how, like what, would he have us assassinated or something? He, he, he would just have you like, killed. He, but, <coughs> but like, would that be like a declaration of war or something? I think it probably would be, yeah. Like, shouldn't uh, he be Aust respecting me? Austin Mark against Dellinger, he's, he, he so doesn't care. Like, he, he doesn't care. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's rude. <laughs> you, you rude. Yeah. Slow manners. Yeah. Besides, we're pretty nice. We're we on our best behaviour. Yeah. 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 So I'm very nice. <laughs> so we're again taken to the ballroom, and we're only sitting on top stuff. Yeah. Only the ballroom on chairs. chairs. Plus. Once I've got them there and I know that they're, they're seated, um, Father Bill's going to say a small prayer and a hulking figure of light with a huge war hammer is going to stand guard right in front, in between them. That's cool. Mm. And then he's going to pull out a book and he's going to start taking notes of the names that have fallen in this room. Okay. Are you the only one in the room? Yeah, yes, he is. At the moment. The uniform that attacked us at the docks. What type of uniform were they? The most, like the people that killed the mercenaries, they were they were not wearing any uniform. You're arrested by city guard, which would have been wearing the Valendil uniform. Protected that man back then. Tell me why. You are a man of war, are you not?
you should find the answer within yourself. So wise. Yeah. I'm for <laughs> Okay. Pause and think for a, for a second. got me killed and now you're giving away information. Shut the fuck up before you do anything else. Look at him, Jace. Fuck him. <laughs> he's gonna turn and he's gonna kind of shrug with his head down and put his head on and he's just gonna stand there, face away from Sylvanas. Father Bell's gonna um, appear next to Jace pretty quickly. Quicker than you'd expect this old man to move. He doesn't make eye contact. He's just staring at the ground. Respect those who are fallen. As I, as I take notes of those who have fallen, I'm going to start sort of moving him so that you know, a group of them will do. Yep. Anyone that's on fire or anyone that's um, mutilated really badly, I'm going to try and cover in the most respectful way I can. Okay. The man that attacked us, the, the people that attacked us, What's your name? Priest. Father Bellador, Master. And yours. Words have been heard, Silver. He's going to say he's not looking at him, he's just writing his book and going about his work. But there is time for words and time for actions. Actions. And what actions? Actions will come in time. Look around you at the devastation. Now is time for neither words nor action. Are you ascending to? <clears throat> Are you going to protect us from these creatures? All by yourself. The light will protect all those who allow it. Hush now. What about Tom? That was yeah. so good. <laughs> I don't know how you get your mind so good. Yeah, yeah that's like the practice of like, why I'm It's grown up a lot since I uh, saw him, but he hasn't reached him yet. Yes, he's, um, he's quite something, isn't he? A bit more like his father than he'd like to admit. What the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Day one is a ridiculous party that real pissed off painter and the worst of all is the threats from your brothers. I'm pretty sure he needs to carry out sooner or later. I would never let that happen. I'm not sure you stop it <laughs> if, you tr if you try it the sounds of it I mean you are the heir and yet 
he is telling you what to do. Maybe you should have stayed gone. Maybe we should get gone again. Outside the city walls of Commencement Hill Station. It's not that I'm not. It's not that I'm afraid of getting caught up in all this. I just need to know the reason why. For Dre's sake. Understand. I do. I pretend that I don't care, but I do. But I'm not sure if there's anything I can help you with. I feel like you have more practice when it comes to being a little bit more than this. I think boards are different <laughs> where I came from. It may be different is what us and Mike needs. Just promise me if it gets out of hand. But I mean, you're missing two or four years since the day I met you, so sometimes the ones we're born with are not our true friends. And the complete opposite of the point that. <laughs> As you go to open the study, uh, you guys put Duchess of Vane in. Suddenly, a oh, screech. We're, we're, we're searching the top floors, I think. Isn't that where you put Duchess of Vane? No, she was on the bottom floor. Oh, she was, that's right. A, a, a screech um, pierces the night from the, the floor above you guys. Dre, you hear this also. And as you're already on the third floor, you. Do you investigate? Do you, mm. you you bounce out the room that you're in only to find a young lady two doors down from you has opened the door and is on her knees streaking inside another victim of the painted man. Eyes dashed as he lays dead. Uh, I thought we got rid of that guy. Yeah, we're now just finding the victims. Well, you hear the noise on the level above you, the screen. Let's go. Make your way up there to see Drea behind a young lady at the door of the room. And as they, you hear them coming up the stairs. Um. Are we all right? You lead her out, she cries. Clearly this is someone she was attached to or knows. 
and through the blubbering, it was you find out it was her betrothed, and you 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 pull her out of the room as she buries her face into your shoulder and just starts sobbing. Her body, her knees, her legs shaking, not able to hold up her weight as you kind of have to carry slash drag her to a chair. Um. In another room. Can I take her to the room? Take her to? The ballroom. Okay. Start leading her out and then as you guys are coming towards each other. Are there any others? Sorry, you did find. Oh, so as we're talking, we're like. Helping. Yeah, you. So there's one downstairs, the the, the Duke. Um, you guys found another one on the second floor. Um, there's this one. Uh, no, sorry, you found two on the second floor. So did I find just this one? Yeah. As you guys all get to the bottom of the ballroom, you've obviously found a few survivors along the way and let them down as, as a few on the third floor. Have we done all the floors? Um, there, there's still a couple small rooms, like the servants' quarters, um, you know, a few smaller rooms around, but the majority of the floors have been cleared. Yeah. Um, but it looks like there's about 12. There should be a few more people around. Would you guys like to head out or have another look? Um, some of the <laughs> if Bjorn's taking her, then I'll check the rest of the rooms that we just checked, just in case. Okay. All right. Just in case. Make a perception check. You do a quick run around as the group is starting to come together. Mm. I'm presuming Fire the Bell, Tom is giving instructions and speaking out to the people, um, and then kind of allowing you to take over, letting them know um, what wagons to be loaded, what to take, um, you know, who's left, who's, and just kind of checking names off. Yep. And. Dre, you notice that Duchess Evine is still missing. And I haven't seen her in our searching. Checking the study room back where you guys left her, she's not there. Is that the same Duchess that saw her? Correct. However, checking a private suite at the rear of the estate that overlooks the garden, you find her. dead eyes slashed in the same way but it's fresh this has been done after last you saw her was just before you guys went down to get the painted man yeah. um, can I check the room is there like any paintings in here anything there is two paintings in here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use my primal savagery to slash them and then I'm gonna take them down with me to the ballroom. Can okay. I carry them? Are they like big, big or like... No, they're, they're, they are large paintings but you can yeah. they're light enough to carry one in each hand. Yeah. And I'm gonna take them down with me to the ballroom. 
you make your way back into the boardroom as the last survivors get rounded up. So, did you see it outside? No, inside, yeah. um, in a private suite that overlooks the oh, garden. Okay. We definitely killed him. Of that I am certain. This is either something else or another of those ghouls. Do we search? Do we find another painting? Everyone else is accounted for now. No, because all the guards weren't allowed in. They were all in the courtyard. However, each family still has their guards, but they camped outside of the estate, across the bridge, um, you know, in a clearing far enough to not really hear the sounds. Um, yeah. And they're all camping that till the morning, they assume. Awesome. With the survivors that are coming, because they're all sort of gathering in the ballroom, is that right? Yeah. Can one of the first things I do is send someone that has most of their wits about them as a runner, you know, a young serving boy or something, just to go gather whatever guards are camped wherever they are. A young lord offers um, to go for it, and a serving boy also offers, um, and he nods to him, and they they both head out together. Um, you can see that lord is, you, you, you know, I'm a young lord, proving himself a couple of times in the tourneys, um, and well enough to... Awesome. Um, I don't know how much time has passed, but if they come back, I'm going to sort of get the guards started. Yeah, that would be arriving now. You can hear um, horses in the distance as I start riding. Well, I suggest uh, we all leave as soon as possible. There could be more dangers. Perhaps I wasn't the only painted man. I could not agree more, my lord. The order is not my position to serve. Right, maybe a message you can pass on. As the guards arrive, Tommen walks up to you, Sylvanas. We're all on the same route. Yeah. How'd you make it past my guards? I asked the priest. I see half of them, or well, all of them, are butchered. Was it just you two, or was there another accomplice with you? A group? How many? With all due respect, if I may, my lord. This was not their doing. They were with me at the time. With you, Father Bell? Indeed, they were. And my guards? I don't care about their names. I want to know who killed them. Was it these two? It was not. I witnessed firsthand them trying to save your men. I do not know why they are here, but I can vouch that they were not involved. And then give them the bell. He looks at you for a long few seconds before turning back to you two. Well, it seems Father Bellador has saved you two from hanging. Although I still want to know why you're here. And I trust, Father, 
you will get me the answer. As my lord commands. Good. Now get us moving. Guards, yeah. yeah. There's there's all different families, but you know, all would listen to you in this situation. Um and not for long. They've brought in carts for the dead, um, got whatever horses they can, whatever carriages they can, and have made a convoy of about six to seven carriages ready to head out back towards the capital. Um, I wanna start preparing a fire as soon as all the bodies are out. You gonna burn burn your estate? All right. Are you guys helping him or? Um, well, would it be like a while where everyone gets in the carriages and stuff? Yeah. In the vault, if there's anyone in, do you drag some stuff? Like, obviously she doesn't have her stuff, but you know, if she can cut some of her dress to make a bandage for someone, drag it just around like that. Yeah. As as you run around and help the last of those that are that are wounded or hurt to get out. Um, Bjorn, you're flanked on either side by the twins. <laughs> and as one of them fixes her dress, oh, what did we miss? Is that dead? Um, wow. Oh, probably some of the family. <laughs> it's a fat whore duchess event. One sister whispers to the other. Uh, yeah, probably probably saw herself in the mirror for the first time, her other sister says. <laughs> well anyway, we're going back to uh to our father's estate if you would uh oh, was that in the pit of hell? They both smile at you and silently begin to move off. This is a strange night. <laughs> <laughs> As the last of. I want to make up my way up to Tom as well, sorry. Okay, Tom and. If, if, if you're gonna burn, if you're. Are you gonna burn or not burn? Are you burning the bodies of these things, sorry? I'll start a fire just for the paintings for now. For the paintings, yeah. Sorry, can I just say through all of this, if I find a moment, I want to try and um, pull Tom on the side and just console him. Tom and and sort of has, him has ma- mounted his horse and you can see he's distant himself from the group a little bit um, and is just staring off into the distance at the moon. He's back towards the estate. Uh, you can approach him first as you would be closer, dealing with all the other people while you were... St- it's empty now you've helped who you can you've gathered the paintings um what would you like to do Daria and are you too present yeah I'll I'll be present Daria I'll head yeah towards him and Tom is that you said well you're cool then Consider that the key to the chamber that was holding the painting that murdered everyone here tonight was within your brother's pockets. I'm not suggesting anything, I'm just saying that perhaps there are more secrets to be found. Maybe Jerry had the right of it after all. Can I just say so? I did let them know that the key was to the whole estate, right? Not one particular door. Oh. Regardless. 
There is all of them on the rear or a mark in the corner of the painting. Um, there is all different marks of all different artists. There's multiple artwork pieces in here done by the same artist. Yet as you look through them, I presume you guys did you want to grab the frame of the, the burnt one as well? And if there's any like yeah, like if, if burnt, but maybe there's like small bits and stuff. I want to like maybe just. I'm gonna go back to get as. Go get back, us. get us, yep. Um, as you pick up a few charred pieces of the frame and what remains of the painting, there is a name remaining, but only the first name. Adrian, scribbled in cursive at the back of the painting. And if I look at the other paintings, are any others starting with Adrian? He is the only one. Where other artists have multiple pieces there, He's the only one with one single painting. Do you know who this estate belonged to? A deceased small minority family. Your father purchased it uh, to find the funeral of the man that died here. But not it was not an Adrian. All the bodies are out. It's you guys are the last ones in there now. Everyone's waiting on you guys. I'll get on my horse and ride up next to Tom. Okay. That's what I on a horse. Did we have? We came in a carriage. Oh yeah, correct. There is spare horses on the guards that have been killed. If you'd like, or your carriage is still there waiting. No, I'll get up on a horse. Did I'll get up on a horse. Okay. Now I'll ride up next to Daria Tom. All right. Before that happens. Father Bellador has is currently next to him. As you move up, are you on a horse or do you move? You, okay, as you pull your horse up next to him, he stiffens, and you can see tears on the verge of spilling. Must be so easy, Father. To blame situations like this on fate or the work of God. Yet this is a burden 
I'll carry with me for a while. I've never seen such horrific actions and the consequences that I will face, that my father will face, that those for those who have died here tonight will haunt our family forever. Moments like this is what tests us and helps us to grow. Regardless of what others may think, blood or not, there are many that are proud of how you conducted yourself this evening. I am proud of your actions. Hold your head. He peels his eye away from the moon and looks at you. You have no idea what I did, Father. Yet, I appreciate your words. We are friends, are we not? And I can trust you. I would like to hope so. Come. Your thoughts on my brother. Do you think he will make a good leader? My lord, if I may speak freely. He nods too. Sometimes the darkness may overwhelm the light, as long as the light remains strong, it will always gain the upper hand. I do not know. I do not know what your brother is facing, the challenges in his heart, the tribulations he has encountered in the years he has been away. But I do sense the light in him, as I do. You takes a moment to ponder your words. I've always hated your riddles, Father Bill. Most do, my lord. Let's get moving. As you guys are approaching.
perhaps we did not get off on the right foot. I am not accustomed to the ways of your land and your people. Um, I would like to turn a fresh page, if I may, and as a gesture of faith, might I suggest allowing me the opportunity to return to this estate and do what my people do best, which is to say, He brings his horse closer to yours. Your words are appreciated, my lord, and it is I that owe you an apology. I lost my temper when I should have kept my head. But if you allow me this excuse, I have not seen such horrific scenes before. And yet I admit I did say things that I did not mean. Let's turn a new page. And he reached his hand out to you. And as for returning, just burn it down. Thank you. And I'm gonna have my horse go back a bit. I'll be waiting for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 like the biggest like relief. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, brother? I think so. Are you okay? I am just shaken. Yes, but let's handle that tomorrow. I miss my bed. I miss it <laughs> He chuckles at you and looks to you, Father Bell, and gives you the nod to give the command to move out. I do. And as the guards lead on, Tom and takes his position behind them, leading the long caravan which you guys, I'm presuming, fall in. You guys are currently chained in a cart, riding at the back, flanked by six guards. Um, How many I six? Do I just want to ask if you are, um, is that a normal ghost? Give me some words. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. It was um this one had intent and purpose, it felt like. Yeah, the the killings didn't feel random. Yes. Let's hope. And I'll reach out to my leader and I send a message to Chase. Be like, my platoon kids. I'll make sure Captain is on
Yeah. Someone just punches him. <laughs> would anyone like anyone else would like to do anything before the caravan reaches the city? Um, I will sing a sad ballad for the fallen. Give us some words. Um, oh, you have the mighty have fallen. Your names will not be forgotten. Um, long must we march with the hooves that have trotted. That's um, your <laughs> yeah. Tom and smiles at you tears in his eyes as he gives you a nod and your song continues through the night through the winding trail back up to the city through the walls to the gates of the citadel and that is where we'll take a quick break finally all together <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if you're gonna like job scenes but if we're going to rest I I think me and Dre are going to rest somewhere else. Okay. So I don't know if we break off somewhere. Okay. Is the Citadel the palace? Yeah, it's the... Yeah. Is it like cities? Like The the city is around the Citadel. Yeah, so we... Yeah. yeah. Outside the Citadel. I don't know where you're going to come back we'll, on the break of this, though, so just... We'll figure that out when we come back. We'll be back! Oh, man. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. <That's> intense, yeah. <laughs> this is... Welcome back. So, as Tommen says his farewells to his guests and promises them that there will be a petition heard tomorrow to find out what's going on once they have some more information, he dismisses the lords and ladies, escorted by their guards back to their respective houses. He turns to you and lets you know that there is rooms here for you at the palace, not not you two. Um, and whether or not you wish. Um, with your permission, Prince, I think myself and my sister would be more comfortable within uh, lesser No permission needed, my lord. Do as you see fit. Is there any place that, that, that you recommend? My brother's favourite, the Crown King. Right, we've been there. Good place. Um, I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes. Did you remember that? <laughs> Give my best to Shirley. The, the owner of Ian, the whore. Um, are you staying with us or are you going? I will stay with my uh, Depends on the reach us if you need us. Yeah, I think I shall reminisce about old times here. Stay safe, Lord Ramondil. What time would it be? Well, it's like my, it's like two thirty in the morning now. Yeah. yeah. So everyone will be pretty exhausted. Yeah. 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 So, uh, me and Jay's being taken. You're still in the car, um, with the Valendil guards and Lord and Father Bell, okay. um, which is com <laughs> left completely with you, um, to do uh, as as you see fit. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. He gives you a final nod. Um, for turning to you. Still remember your room, brother. Thanks, Fantastic. Well, I should see you in the morning to face Father's wrath. Together. It could be nice for once to share his anger. Uh, 
Good night, brother. Just before they go, dry pigs. Is Thomas still there? Uh, no, Thomas oh. gone up the stairs. All right, so I have to take that shit from your brother. Like, <laughs> I have more than you, I believe. In my <laughs> Is it all for drinks? If that's the case, then I'll take it. <laughs> Accommodation drinks, whatever you put up. Mine, I'm gonna get used to this. <laughs> Stay vigilant. See you tomorrow. See you then. Right up. Beautiful. And Dario, you go up the stairs, leaving you by the bell door with two very exhausted guards and two chained prisoners. Uh, to the guards, I'm going to just talk to a type of night and uh, uh, compliment them on their work tonight. As you wish, my lord. And they ride <coughs> off. <coughs> Sorry. The cells of this palace are reserved for the murderers, thieves, and scum of this kingdom, of which I believe you are neither. The best I can offer you for the night is the questioning. Aren't a room in the palace, but they're a sight better than the dungeons. If you choose to behave for the night, I can promise you a hot meal and we'll talk further in the morning. Sounds great. I've had much worse. Chase, I will send. You're led by Father Baldor, not to the dungeons, but actually inside the citadel. And Jace, you're awed and disgusted by the amount of wealth in this single building. Wealth that, if it was shared among the common folk, everyone would live like a king. Useless statues, utensils, artwork, um, furniture all looks like it hasn't been used that could be sold, donated to people of need and yet here the seed of the Valendil is, is adored with more than any of your friends would see in a whole lifetime you're eventually led to a modest room much uh, it would be the size of your parents shop there's no beds but couches that are better quality of your thin mattress all day in the room fresh fruit in the middle of the table and a view of the palace grounds You let them through before you fire the bell door. Is there anything you wish to say? The light is built on trust. I trust that I will find purity. Jace is going to go in. He's just going to stare at it. Look back at Father Bell. Take the fucking steps. <laughs> you may, young. Thank you.
cabezas. And you, Master Silva. You know what, can you fuck off? Can you actually fuck off? You stay in this room, I'm going to the fucking cells. I don't want to talk to you, I don't want to listen to you. God! My lord? Take these two down to the cells. Make sure they stay there tonight. Put them as far away from me as fucking possible. They look to you. Same cell. As you wish. Just near the door. Keep a close eye on them. Yes, my lord. Bring them something warm to eat. Yeah. You keep a close eye on us fucking murderers. How scum he called us. Are you watching me? Till tomorrow, young master. He grabs the chains. That are linked to your cuffs and half leads, half drags you back out the citadel around to the cells. Those that you've become quite accommodated with passing through opens the door and puts you guys back in the same cell that you guys originally were, next to each other, next to the door. <laughs> and as you look to the right, there is currently a Bonaire oh, snuggled up mind. to the dead man for warmth. Oh, as he snores his life away. Wait, Bonaire had the key. He did. <laughs> Jace doesn't even notice. He's just gonna walk into the cell, go to the corner. So, like, obviously, I'd give commands for them to like keep guards in the room with them, like keep an eye on them. That's well, what I was meaning. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. If that's what you want. Yeah. Um. Yeah, did you know they broke out before? <clears throat> I'm assuming I would. Like the guards would have. Like it would have. That guards. information would have been proved to you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, the information on the reason why we were there. No. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been proved to you as well. Um, warmth stew is brought to you uh, better than the ones you've previously received and placed through the bars into your cells whether you'd like to touch them or not that's up to you uh, along with fresh bread and the guard is posted inside this inside the dungeon with you on the other side of the door um, where he takes post, leaning on the door, and just talking through the bars to that other guard on the other side. Is there anything you guys would like to do, or would you re retire for the night? Dario, as you quite accurately stumble around and find your old room, the palace hasn't changed much except for it seems a little bit poorer than you remember. The guard gives you a nod at the door, opening the door for you to your room. And as you enter, you look around at the large chamber a small fire flickers in the hearth. There's fresh water to wash, to drink, clothes, everything that you need, a bit of fruit. And on the table next to the fruit, a small parchment rolled up and secured via wax sits there. Oh, I'll go for the parchment. Okay, please enter.
Meanwhile. Gold for do you would you like a room together? Yeah, like two beds or Yeah, just a single gold for the night. Well, and the food? Uh Shirley's quite surprised that you're here and doesn't have anything, any kind of food. Um so just gives you some nibbles, just some bread and cheese, which she says on the house. What She's time? too tired to, to calculate. It's two thirty in the morning. Close to three now in the morning. Um, Hi, the young prince. Yes, personally recommended your establishment. Aye, oh, well, in that case, rooms on us for the night. <laughs> uh, are you sure? Oh, yes. Now I know I rec recommended you. <coughs> What's now. that meaning? Excellent service. No hidden gains here. <laughs> Well, here's your key. Your room is third level, door number 67. Great. Thank you. My lord, my lady, I'll see you in the morning. Well, in a few hours, as she yawns. The city's quiet at this time of morning, surprising for a city this large. However, it is, you know, it's it's not a city known for, at least for the common folk, for its entertaining like I now that you guys were at. A few guards dot the streets. Shops are closed, shutters are closed. And a thin mist has settled into the streets. A rodent, a cat, catches your eye, going from alleyway to alleyway. And the bright half moon lights up the sky. Should we get some rest? I think we'll have a good day ahead. I'm sure I'll find my way. We'll find our way. Sure. Are you going to get past them without me? <laughs> Making your way out the window. Yeah, there's uh, above all the window seals, there's a little awning which is sturdy enough for you to go from one to one using them as a staircase until you guys are far enough to jump down and land safely. We obviously want to be super stealthy. Correct, which, uh, which is why I need both you guys to roll stealth checks for me. Oh, yeah. oh I'm going to grab my new clock. Yep. Around a 19. Nice. As is already settling into his pillow, um, as he uh, needs it and then like twirls a couple of times and sits and kills himself. And then as he realizes that you're not coming to bed, he opens an eye. Um, and as you're, he sees Bjorn getting out the window, you just hear scruffling on the sheets. And as you look behind you, he's dressed again with his hat on the wrong way, his, his knife under his arm and his shirt half on as he looks at you sleepily and jumps off the bed and walks over to you. Is there like hand towels or something here? Hand towels? Yeah. yeah. 
a dress and we get her bag, get a hand towel, and make like a little bed for him, <laughs> so she, he can sleep on the way. He uh, he he shakes his head at you sleepily, and you kind of pick him up and just put him in there, and he's continuing to shake his head as his eyes close and he just sways. And before you jump out the window, he's like this, standing up. Oh, before he, he falls asleep, I was just gonna say to him, "You did well, soldier." He I goes and gives you like a salute, <laughs> and he just stands there asleep. Yes. He, he needs rest. Nineteen and oh, I got ten. ten. <coughs> you make your way back through the citadel. The night quiet, the guard patrols spread out easily enough for you to slip between them. It's not, it's not like people can't be out at night. No, nothing like that. But we don't want people to see us, that's all. Like, recognise us, yep. basically. And as you approach the gates of the Citadel, would you like to approach the gates and enter through the gates? Or would it's you... Guarded? It is guarded. Alright. However, no questions... Is that what you say? <laughs> um, so, right. so we don't want anyone to suspect that we have anything to do with what's about what we're about to do, right? right. So we don't want anyone to know we're here. So then why do I suggest you take top of us guys? Maybe become a rat or something inconspicuous? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Whoa. Okay. Although, is that disguise yourself? Yes. You can't change your height. Fuck. Yeah. Well, you're unnaturally large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you can see you can see one foot shorter or taller. Oh, okay. I mean, I think I would let you through because we're with Daria and we've got one foot taller. Is that gonna that's be? quite a bit. That's a lot. I don't know if it's a lot. But but not enough. Not enough? Yeah, what? Close enough? Oh, wait, it's six foot. Yeah, yeah, so it's the, the first one is the head there. Yeah, so that's actually a lot. Yeah, you can appear a lot taller. <laughs> well, okay. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. And I'm going to walk up to the city, Citadel Gates. <laughs> Father. Life bless you, God. <laughs> <laughs> he bows, they both bow their head. Um, as one opens a small gate in the actual large gates. Yeah. Now, I don't get his voice, but I'm just putting on a voice. Make a form check. Oh, shit, I should have said it. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a good voice, so I let you do it with advantage. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, Two natural ones. <laughs> that is a pretty one. Wow. Oh, okay. They both bow to you, opening a small doll door in the larger doors. You know how they have the small doors in the actual door? Um, as the gates are shut for the night, mm -hmm. allowing you through before closing it behind you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try my best without asking anyone first. I'm assuming Freya, there's a rat walking next to me. <laughs> yeah, it, you, you easily slip between cracks and crevices, pipeworks behind into the walls, into the courtyard of the estate. And I'm going to, yeah, like, I've been in palaces before, I've been in forts before and castles before usually there's some sort of systematic way that they place the cells so I'm going to try and use that experience to figure out where I should go. Can I make an investigation check? <laughs> Can I 
without the dungeons? Natural 20. Oh, oh nice right. Plus, like, yeah, yeah. plus. <laughs> you, you immediately make your way to the left where you can see construction con- constructed into part of the citadel, a part that extends, but it only extends one floor, not the rest of the citadel. And as you make your way around, you see two guards posted outside a large double gate. And as you approach, you can see that it's not a wooden gate, it's iron bars, and you can see stairs heading down into a room. Father Bellador? The light bless you, my son. <laughs> you are very uh, blessed this evening. <laughs> Well, oh, thank you, Your Holiness. Uh, I can't say the same for the lot down here, eh? The light resides at all, my son. Of course, of course. Are you uh, here to pray with the damned? We have a few men tanked tomorrow. Yes, among other things. But it is not your place to question me. <laughs> my apologies, my lord. Uh, he pulls out a key off his waist, unlocks the padlock on the gate, and opens it up with a loud Is this where the cells are now? It, it goes down into a large room, um, and then there's several rooms based off that, and then that's one door leading into the dungeon. So, like, would I... It, it's quite obvious which one is where the dungeon leads yeah, to. Yeah, would I assume that these guys have the keys? Like, they're the only guards? No, no, they're in the next room below. He bows his head to you and closes it. Um, and you hear... He's so fucking tall, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's all that holy water he's been drinking. My ma told me it makes you grow tall and strong. Crazy bitch must have been right. In, in my own voice, I said, I should try that inside. <laughs> 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 I'm a spirit You hear a mouse squeak. Go, it goes a mouse squeak. <laughs> 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 and you hear that squeak from at the bottom of the stairs that like you see here crawling out from a small hole in the wall. Are you a mouse or a rat? I'm a rat. Rats are pretty big, they're like as big as a cat. What? No, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's huge. It's our scape. They're, yeah. they're a tiny like beast. Big. A tiny beast. I don't know. Well, she's different, though. Maybe not known as size. Maybe a different rat. Right? A baby. A uh, not well fed rat. A man of rat. You enter into the room, and the guards at the table playing cards stand up <laughs> fast and bow their heads to you. Um, as one rushes to put back on his helmet. Your, your holiness? I am disappointed to see you this way. Would your prince be pleased to see you leading your duties with such uncaring Are you having fun focus? With this? <laughs> of course well, not. I'm going to act like it doesn't know what yeah, it's doing. It's yeah. just like, you know, yeah. Of course, my, my lord, it's just uh, a simple game to pass the time. The the prisoners. A simple thing you could do, God, is pray to the Lord. <laughs> Sigma will bless you. I, As he I blesses us all. I I shall repent. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've wasted enough of my time. <clears throat> Hand me the keys, so I could be on my way. Uh. Of course, to the dungeons, Your Holiness. Would you like us to open it and escort? Like we are in the Church of Sigma, son. <laughs> Would you like escorts, Your Holiness? The light will show you. Of course. Um, and he fiddles with some keys, and you can see he is quite under the influence. Um, as he, without look, making eye contact, he hands you up the keys. That is so good. <laughs> 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 good work. <laughs> you open the door. I'm, really, like, walking, like, I'm trying my best to imitate. I've got like that 21 or whatever. So you, you open the door. Um, you unlock it and the guard behind it uh, opens the door up for you. 
um, and as he bows his head and uh, you know holds out his hand for you to, to go down the stairs. This is the one that I just mentioned. No, the the guard on the other door. Now you're in the. You, now you've opened the door and you can see the cells. You're so in the dungeon. The room with the cells and there's a guard up in there. Yeah, correct. Huh? That that you posted yeah, there. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the one. And what are you doing here, guard? Uh, as you bid your grace, I'm keeping. I your... bid all <clears throat> to bless Sigma in my presence. Uh, but bless bless Sigma. I think he should be blessing us, though. Is that not how it works? <laughs> Do you question the ways of your lord? Uh, absolutely not. Of course, your holiness knows best. The light guides me, as hopefully one day it shall be. I do hope so. <laughs> this conversation has parched me. Fetch me some water. Of course. But first, give me 10 to 15 minutes to pray. In here. For the hold... damned, you fool. Of course. Um, do you want me to stay here and keep eye while you pray? Does the light not protect us, son? <laughs> he just nods at you, closes his mouth, and closes the door behind you after he heads up the stairs. <laughs> you both hear Father Belador's voice and... Do we hear the conversation or just the voice? You hear the conversation and Jace... Uh, you see him, Jace, if you're still facing the wall, you, you don't see him, but he's right in front of you. <laughs> oh, Silver! <laughs> Good God, man! Uh, I'm in front of the cells? Yeah. yeah okay. Am I dreaming? Gentlemen, you're back, both of you. Don't tell me you have another story up your sleeve. Keep it to yourself if you do. Have you come... Uh, I mean... Um... <laughs> <laughs> have you... had the time to repent your sins? Boy? Uh, and I'll say to... I can't remember his name. Uh, Sorry, cocks his head towards you. Avert your gaze. <laughs> the lights work. Father, I have I have been in here, repenting a lot. Do I recognize him? <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> and do I? Uh, you, you hear yeah, voice. you do as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just like to say how magnificent it is to see you. I have not slept all night in prayer I have been. And not once did I think about... His mouth opens. Has, has showed me your faith. Is it any good? Yeah. Come, receive Sigma's blessing, and I'm gonna place her head on the cell. Huh. I'd, uh, I'd rather receive a key, and uh, a way out and of I here. Pull a key out with the other head. Father. If I wasn't a holy man, I would kiss you right now. As soon as, as, soon as he's within the grass, I go, grab his collar and smash him. Boom! Does he make that, um, break the spell if you get touched though? Yeah, well, he's about to get knocked out. <laughs> Un unprepared, you drag him forward, his head smashing hard into the bar to the point it bends it a little bit, and he just goes stiff as a board. Before he topples back over onto the dead man with a loud crash. I'm assuming Jace hears and. Yeah. Hears. Oh, so my disguise it. has fall straight away? I can't remember. Let me just double check. I think it's just he recognizes it. He recognizes it? Yeah. But I think if we see it, I'm taking that 
Father Bellador's arm length is more than yours, so we would have seen like a hand, like That's in his bar. chest. Yeah. Sure. Alright, let's just say it's right. Are you right, Father? The light is with me, son. <laughs> Continue your prayers. <coughs> I want you to recite section four of the single Bible. <laughs> 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 you you just hear. There's a Sigma Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the up and just. Are you? <coughs> yes! Uh, Sigma, blessed. And they try to, uh, like a choir. I never knew there was a Bible. Shut up, I've seen our tollies. It's me. So your disguise is completely down? I'll just drop it. If it, if it isn't down, I'll drop it. Okay. Dreyas, Dreyas, as a rat, is just going to pull on Bjorn's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. us? Yeah. That's not my sister. He's going to open up a hand. <laughs> the, the rat. <laughs> yes, the rat. He is the rat. No, I understand what you're saying. The rat is my sister. I'm here to break you out. Do you want oh, to holy it? light. Bless <laughs> us with yes, your my strength. I feel the power, the faith, the, 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 your, the power and of your faith. the Helden Hammer. What's next? <laughs> Just keep the saying. The light. The Helden Hammer light. <laughs> Are we doing this a lot? No, I got, I got, I got, I'm just going to hold up myself straight back. Why the hell are you helping me? Because your parents are very funny. That's the truth. Is that, are they still in shackles? No. Is there shackles on the wall or anything? Yeah, inside the dungeon, yeah. Alright. I'll have to shackle you. What? What did you want? Smite thy enemies! Holy so Sigma! What? Let's go. How are you going to get us out of here? Did you see the way I came in? Yes. Did you hear the, my voice in your head? Yes. <laughs> Trust me. I don't need to have a question. Just let me help you, and I will go outside of the place. If you're using chaos, mate, why the hell would I let you It's not chaos. It is chaos. It's, 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 it's just a tool to help us get out. To be chaos. It's just a tool, mate. <laughs> How do I know you're to... not going to take me out of here and just kill me? Like the rest of the bloody lords. Protect us from thyself and yours. From the top. <sighs> oh, Sigma. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a lord to pretend to be a good guy and try and help me out, alright? Let alone the fact that you're touching literal chaos, mate. Doesn't this man sleep? Sorry, and what level was the disguise self defense? One, no, two. No, it is one, sorry. Not bad. It's been on your reputation. No, right? It is also. <laughs> <laughs> Smite thy heretic and smite the evil and smite anything unholy and smite. Smite you, goddammit. He said, the other guy says to him. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Right? The 
the sake of your parents. For the sake of these parents. As I said, I knew we escaped. Look, I don't, I don't really know who you are. I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's fine. I don't give a shit either. I'm saying his parents. It's supposed to rescue these guys. <laughs> They're the real ones. <laughs> you are rescue. So you're done? You, yeah. You're a lot of these chaos. Too, like, I'm here to help you. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know okay. what's. Oh, yeah, I know you. Oh, and smite Do this hand I've again? been dealt. If I lose my heart, I can't march up again until my short rest. Okay. It's okay. I can escape. <clears throat> oh, but Jason's gonna freak out if I appear. Hmm? Jason freak out if I appear. Look. I'm trying to help you. I'm just pretending. I'm just trying to get in with the family. Alright? It's the truth. There's corruption here. You know it. I know it. We're here to make a difference. D did it look like we fit in at the party? You see what I can do. Do you think that I would have survived here? as a lord if I could do what I do it's all right you and I want the same thing now please let me just do this I don't know man I'm looking in here and I don't know what your fucking team is but you're using chaos they will hang you don't you understand Don't you not understand? You're using fucking chaos. That caused the literal end of the fucking war. <coughs> Did you? Don't what you? did you say? Not the end of the world, but the fucking war. The first age of chaos. Where's he referring to? The age of chaos when the war nearly ended. Uh, the world okay, nearly ended. It started from um, the people the casting drawing all the chaos. No, is. but it's all you know winds of magic is success. <clears throat> Father, your your water. It's been ten minutes. Would you would you like a sip? I want this guy's help again. Back to Father Bumble. Father, yeah, smite yeah. us. The praying gets Bring more <laughs> louder. Bring it to your son. Father, <laughs> 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 he opens the door. Close oh, the right. cage right. before he came in. No. No, I didn't. I don't unlock it. Oh, okay. uh, gotcha. I don't unlock it. It's just like one. I like place it there. We have no time. Uh, okay. The hour has come for these two to repent. Put them in shackles. Okay. Place the wood down. Goes back to the room. Gets some shackles. Um, takes his own key. I invite you if you want the guards. Is this the guard that I gave instructions to, though? Yes. Opens up the door, um, calls the other guys who come in still praying, or one of them still comes praying until one of them nudges him <laughs> in the gut, um, and they come in and shackle you. Um, leave them this way. What? Well, let, them, let him leave them up. Can I get my belongings? He starts Do leading him up the stairs. <laughs> Starts leading them up the stairs. Yeah, I want my belongings. Are you saying that? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, would you like us to give him his weapons back, Your Holiness? Mm. Yes, one of you carry them. Where, where are we going, Your Holiness? Are they... Did you not instruct us to... Did you not hear what I said? It is time for them to repent. When the light calls, what do you do, son? Yeah, you repent. Answer. Yes. Yes. I will fetch his weapons, your holiness. Weapons? Weapon, your so holiness. His belongings are weapons? Yes, your holiness. Just the one. 
I shall bless it. And his <laughs> flask of sand, your holiness? A, a flask of sand? Why, why on earth would he have a flask of sand? He's carrying it, your holiness, not, not us. As we have a if I just bring it from God. You're wasting time. He, he rushes off, comes back promptly with the as, weapons. As he's rush, rushing off, can just say, also, also, there was a jacket. Bring everything! <laughs> God! <laughs> Thanks. Everything! <laughs> he comes back with everything. No, just the... Yeah. Everything! Everything. And the water. <laughs> the water's on the stairs, your holiness. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your holiness. <laughs> They are holding everything in the uh, in the administration room, awkwardly looking at you. And why are you looking at me? Well, Proceed. They invert their gaze and <laughs> Proceed. walk up the stairs. Shall I, do, do you mean for me to guide them, to, to show them the way? Is that I it? don't know where we're going. <laughs> All right. Uh, your holiness, <laughs> where, where do you want us to lead them? There is only one way out of the cells. <laughs> Okay, would you like to... <laughs> yes. And they go up the stairs, the gates are opened, and they you know, stand there with the... the church outside the citadel. Yes. There's a lot of churches, Your Holiness. Would you like us to take them... Are they all of equivalent status, God? There is your church in the city, Your Holiness. Would you like us... Of course, God. My church is what I meant. Let's let's go. Is that where I'm going? Okay. Are we uh, are we to accompany <laughs> no, you? Did you say outside the citadel? No, in the citadel. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no I, if, I to, if I wished to go to my church, God, I would have yeah. gone to my church. Survive, so guys. <clears throat> when you said that, yeah. the 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 church, a church outside the citadel, the closest one. What is it called? Hmm. You should know this. High Hill Bible. Church, That's Your Holiness. That's right. I am glad to hear it. You are blessed this evening. <laughs> uh, are we to follow you there, Your Holiness, or no. should we call some guards? We are posts. <laughs> Lead, escort myself and these prisoners outside the citadel, where we shall take them to the church. I can take it from there. You have done a lot. You are clearly confused this evening. <laughs> well, must must be the the I, one. I still have, although I do not drink, I have, still have a nose for it. <coughs> he wipes his mouth with his shirt. And I believe gambling is what I saw. We will be that repenting, is. Your Holiness, right after we yes. lead you outside the gates. They head off in a trot, carrying all this gear, as, as your jacket. As the more this goes on, the more is losing character. <laughs> and your cup of water. <laughs> as they rush to the gates. The gates. The gates. The guardsmen at the gates are very confused that these uh, jailers have left their post before they see you walking tall and proud behind them. Uh, but you hear them whispering, we, we were commanded to do so. Uh, the uh, small gate is opened up again and they step outside with the belongings and the cup of water. Escort them a few feet away. Further down the track. I will be with you in a moment. They... Is Dre with me? Uh, she, hopefully not on my shoulder. No, not on his shoulder. Yep. Um, they escort them down the road um, to the point where he meets the rest of the roads. On this night, I have been tested by the light. <laughs> the challenges of our faith are not easily completed. Those of the strongest faith do not question. Those of the strongest faith do not speak. Those of the strongest Sigma works in unusual ways, Your Holiness. That is correct. And the lights work. It's never right. Of course. 
Would you like us to unshackle them now? Do you still want your water? You wait. You have my blessing. Leave the water. <laughs> they drop their gear and the water. They a frigidly like he holds it out to you. On the ground. And he slowly squats and puts it out the ground on your feet. He looks at his hand, wipes him off his shirt. Hey, I will repent. Please. May we leave? The next time I see you, I do not want to hear a word of this night. Of course. And then I shall know that you have truly repented within your heart. I don't know how that works, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> They bow to you, a deep bow, before they head back up, running. So like, uh, we're not inside the Citadel anymore. Huh? No, they, they, they've um, they've led you, like the guards at the wall could probably still see you. Uh, the the guards at the gate could probably still see you, um, but now they've led you to the road that connects to the roads of the rest of the city. When I was saying that message earlier. I was actually talking to those guards before I was talking to them. But let's just say I gave them the same post, like the same message. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. Okay, beautiful. They head back. And um, turn up the key, right? Yeah, you still got the, yeah. the set of keys. And you're saying the guys at the gates can see me? Yeah, like b barely through the mist. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the keys. I'll shackle them both. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no, I'm not gonna leave any evidence. I'm gonna just, um. Did you cover us? I keep the cover. <laughs> okay. Now I'm covering the inventory. And they're shackles, I'm presuming? Yeah, I, okay. yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all the evidence. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'll piss. We, we, we heard that Jace was stuck, trying to start a rebellion, right? Because he said it in front of us. Uh, what did you say to your mother again? It was something about a rebellion. Rebellion stuff, and then she says something to Bjorn. Mm. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard rebellion talk. You're not sure exactly what it is, but it's yeah. something to do with a rebellion. And Kathy was trying to convince him that there's no rebellion in this house. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, we're not doing the cells. Wait, are you still in a raffle? No, I, I just, like, reappeared. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's say we've, we've yeah. walked up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, out of sight now. Yeah. 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 Like, I would look out, see that no one's yeah. watching. What do you mean on the same side? We're working on the inside. Look, well, I, I don't really know, but your mother said something about rebellion, and, you know, we're here for the corruption in this, in this city as well. Well... Heard the herd of the 
green stone called Wolf Stone. Wolf Stone. A green gem that's called Wolf Stone. It is just staring at you. We've, we've read that. Did you, did you say it's called Wolf Stone? Yeah. There's a oyster dinner by What the fuck? I just can't tell everyone. It's alright. I already know. Oh. You didn't what? even. You don't even know what it was when you looked at it. Like, you don't. Yeah, you explained it to me. Oh, uh, I just told you it's like. Bad. Yeah. And I didn't tell you. Exactly Regardless, what he's, it was. he's, yeah, he's playing it right that you're telling us. Similar goals. We came with Wadaru. Yes, he is the prince, but believe me, he strives for the same goal as us. Really? He does. Okay, well, hang on me this. Why was he gone for eight years? Because he couldn't handle the shit that goes on around him. <laughs> I don't believe you, mate. It doesn't, doesn't look like I care. <laughs> I'm just saying, you have friends. And if you wanted to, you know, act out this little rebellion of yours, there's smarter ways to do it. You have people essentially on the inside, right? Um, so are we led for this? outside of the... Yeah. yeah. Do you know the place to... Are you asking me? Or it's a close night. Yeah. <laughs> Crown and King. Pretty, pretty, pretty good quarters. <laughs> Look, I'm Crown and Crown King. Crown King. Sorry. I'm, I'm really, really tired. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's it's like three thirty in the morning. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, if you want, you can do something about this. Are you? Yes. Are you serious? We are. I don't know what exactly, but put it this way. Something's not right. We're here to work out what it is and try and put it into, into it. And the, the one leading us is the Prince Daru. Is there any more similar minded like us? I'm sure there is. Obviously, if you say any of this and betray us, then we'll leave you and you'll have your, your, your next will find a noose. Smart again. There's people we could work with. Alright, well, we could We have the inside man in the palace, and we could be the eyes and ears in the streets. Alright, well. One day he will not convince me that. Something's not right. Exactly. Does Jace get the sense that they're genuine? Like, Right, Tell me your insight. <coughs> insight. Because, um, like, wrong. obviously, he doesn't really trust Dario. Like, he's suspicious of him. Mm. He's been gone for eight years, and then he comes back as soon as the Warpstone comes back. Mm. It seems far-fetched to Jace. However, running all the situations through your head, one, they do seem out of place. Two, why would they risk it to come save you? No other lords care about your parents or the fact that they're caring on ice. And three, if they had anything to do with this, why wouldn't they just have you killed? Uh, I just wanted to say as well, before I told you about the warp zone, because we're not doing inside checks, but just gathering from all the events and stuff, I kind of 
We, we are doing inside checks, but again, you uh, just... Before I did the... I would have did an inside check before I did the water sign thing then, but I, I gathered that um, with the interactions that we had and stuff that you, know, you guys are pretty genuine. It seems pretty genuine enough. Obviously, we need to get to know each other a little bit more. Yes? Mm -hmm. saying that you're going to help, and no offense, I appreciate yeah. it, but Good point. Yeah. how can I take you genuinely from two? It's a risk from both sides. Right. Young Jace, he has risked much, sure. and we must not listen. easy to arrange. Right. Mm -hmm. You haven't been in the city for ages, but I mean, there's plenty of inns and plenty of um, taverns and things like that that you could meet. Now we broke out of jail, <laughs> so I took over our, like avoiding guards and stuff. At this well, point. now you have been let out of jail by okay. Father Bellador. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the canvas that would that wouldn't be being searched much, right? It's Not at all. poor part of town. Um, and it's just kind of like an abandoned yeah place. most people stay away from it it's more of a playground for well, you and your friends or you know yeah. was yeah alright I've got tracks it's the warehouse near the docks it's um it's steel <laughs> I mean it's, it's near um yeah, it's near the docks. It's like... Hey, how about, how about you just leave for me? How? Yeah. Trust where it is. <coughs> and I will call it a night. And arrange a time to meet there again. I could always reach out to you. I don't know. I'm still not so keen on the magic thing, so could you please not? <laughs> Only if it's necessary. Let's go. We have a lot to hate. Very well. I could always reach out to you too. I haven't just messaged you, but. Okay. Right. Let's go. Nope. 30 paces in front. More trail. Alright. Well, no, because 
we don't, again, we don't want to be seen with you, mm. like, as the horse, we don't want to give up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. uh, now I might go to a familiar place that I'm kind of aware with. Well, uh, like a, t- a tavern, you're somewhere you can spend the night? Yeah. Yeah, there's... There's plenty around a lot that you're unaware with, like new taverns that have popped up. You know, they're clearly taverns by the signs and things like that. Um, and you can easily find somewhere to retire for the night. Meanwhile, Jace, you lead them to the docks through the poorer areas of town. Um, and on you're on the opposite side of the river and you point <coughs> the warehouse. That's quite clearly, you know, quite easily uh, spotted from this distance out to them. Uh, un- un- unless you want to be. Oh. Alright. Um, you'll hear from me. Alright. Okay. Go make sure your mother's alright. Thank you. Uh, s- see you tomorrow, I guess. Um, <laughs> we're gonna disappear. <laughs> and as they go one way, I'm gonna keep heading towards. I was going to say, don't trust me, but that's okay. Alright. And... I'm going to grab a pen. Okay. Alright. That's cool. Um, do you, I was just going to say, do you want to go back to the Crow and Queen? Or should we use that as our fake place? Because no. we're ready, like, for the room, and they can yeah. let you know what I mean. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Plenty of plenty around. Is it like would it be like we go there and give false names and get another room? Uh, um, yeah, no one would know. Like yeah. People would think that that's going to be Yeah. Good to hear that. All right. That was awesome. As you find <laughs> another inn, away kind of from the richer area of where the Crow and King is stationed, the uh, um, distant. Um, right Yeah. My outfit was made by the back seat, but they were made for wards. Yeah. I'm sure it just has that look. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The uh, the disgruntled innkeeper, a short, balding man, skinny, shrewd face, um, very rudely shows you to your room. You don't get the same service, and he's very angry that you've come at this time of the night and uh, wants double two gold coins. Mm-hmm. And breakfast is extra. And you're out by six. <laughs> it's three in the morning. <laughs> As you say, master. Hmm? Okay, master. Off you go. Jace, uh, yes, Savannah, do so you find a similar place? Um, a, a nicer place than where they've ended up. Uh, and it's a gold piece as well. For you. Do I have money? <laughs> yeah, you, you would. Um, you would have at least 100 gold with you. Um, so we assume you pay for your room and then just minus it from, from what you have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I take it that's probably how much I got paid for the thing and we'll say that's that. Yeah, or yeah, you've got a bit of money from other things as well. Alright, as everyone retires for the night, except... You, Jace, you retire in your own way. You you do your work and quickly get lost in, first of all, the thoughts of tonight, the unusual wards that you've met that have just broken you out, the, the events at the estate, This mysterious man that knew your parents and just wouldn't fuck off. To the contact that was made the night before in the prison. And as you step back, 
after 45 minutes you view your piece and with a small grin you think it's ready for the world to see ready for the world to watch. see and with that we will end our session here tonight thank you so much for joining us and find out what happens next week with the fate chosen good night Hey guys, Ahmed here, aka Bjorn Orphan. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment your favourite moment below. And remember, keep spreading the mythic word.